Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss about an online tool for generating the mock test data. The tool name is Mockaroo. As we know that when we do the data driven testing, test data plays a very important role. And sometimes we need to prepare this test data manually, which is a tedious process. In such situation, you can take the help of this tool for generating the mock test data. This tool provides different types of subscription, including the free one. But with the free subscription, there is a limit on how many rows you can generate for the mock test data. So let me show you how you can generate the mock test data using this tool. So just navigate to this website and register yourself. And after registration, just log in inside this website. So just go to the schemas tab and click on create a schema. So a schema is the place where you are going to define what are the column you need to have in your mock test data. So the moment I click on create a schema, it has created a default schema for me with this columns. So let me add some more columns here. Address and city. For every column, there is a type. Using the type, you can define what kind of data you want to generate. So for example, for the address field, I will click on the type and this will give me a pop up where I can select the type for my address column. So let me search for the address. So you can see here, this tool provide different types of address format. In our current case, I will go with the street address. Similarly for the city. So once you have defined your schema, that means you have defined your columns as well as their type. Just click on save the schema, give a schema name. And then from the format, you can select in which format you want to generate the mock test data. So let's say I want to generate the mock test data in Excel format and then click on download data. So this is the mock test data which the online tool has generated for us in the Excel format. In the similar manner, you can select different format for generating the mock test data. So the mock test data in CSV format as well as in the JSON format. This tool provides some additional features also by which you can modify the mock test data by using the formulas and function. So just click on this FX button and here you can define the function and this function will be applied while generating the mock test data. Along with the function, you can define the formula also. So just click on type and search for formula. To define the function and the formula, you can refer to the documentation which is provided by this tool. Along with the mock test data generation, you can also mock the API response here. That means you can create a mock API that is going to return a mock test data. So just let me save this. Then I will navigate to the tab that is APIs. And here I can define the APIs along with their mock response. So just click on create mock a new API. So from here, you can define what is the HTTP method you want to use, what is the context path and what is the response. You can see here schema user. So this is the same schema what we have created over here users. If you have a different schema, you just need to use the schema keyword along with the schema name. The generate keyword represents that how many number of rows this mock endpoint will return. So just go ahead and click on create API. And this is the endpoint URL for our get. So let me open the postman and send a get request to this endpoint. And just click on send. So this is the response which we get after sending the get request to our mock endpoint. You can also customize the response by using some more syntax provided by this tool. For example, I want to return the status code as 404. So I'll just use the status keyword and specify the code. Save changes to our endpoint and again send the get request. So along with the response, as you can see here, we are getting 404 as the status code. So using this tool, you can generate the mock test data for data-driven testing as well as you can create mock APIs also.